In this video, I'll be making a compressed air powered explosion simulator that gives a big effect without the damage of a real explosion. It's loaded with cornstarch to create a cloud of smoke and can take darker powder and debris to simulate thrown earth. A modification to this device allows it to produce a different effect, one that should definitely not be tried at home. This design is quite simple. It uses a pressure tank on one side and a cone to load debris on the other, separated by a quick acting valve. Sprinkler valves are the best choice for this purpose and are the common option used in other things like air cannons and t-shirt guns. These valves are made to open and close by an electric signal to a solenoid that sticks out of the top. To allow the valve to work with air instead of water, the solenoid is removed and the valve will instead be modified to work with a manual release. If there's a test plug threaded into the top as well, it can also be removed. To begin the modification, the screws are first loosened from the housing so that the top can come free. Looking underneath, we can see a hole that led from the inside of the valve to where the solenoid was threaded out. This is the release port that allowed the valve to open. Since I'll be making my own custom release, the old one can be plugged with hot glue or epoxy. If the sprinkler valve used had a test plug, there will be a second hole leading inside. Rather than filling this hole, I'll be boring it out so that a quarter inch hose fitting can be threaded in. Some valves don't have test plugs, in which case the hole for this fitting can be drilled right in the center of the valve cover instead. Once the hose fitting is securely threaded in, the modification to the valve cover is finished, and it can be screwed right back onto the base of the valve. On the other end of the hose fitting will be the new trigger for the sprinkler valve, a one quarter inch ball valve with a second hose fitting threaded into it. The two fittings are joined together with a few feet of air compressor line, which is held in place with a hose clamp on each end. When the ball valve is opened, it will release air pressure behind a rubber diaphragm inside of the sprinkler valve, causing it to open very quickly. This modification is what makes these valves so effective for use in things such as t-shirt guns. They're fast acting, reliable, and can be opened and closed from a short distance away thanks to the length of hose used. With the valve ready, the rest of the assembly is pretty straightforward. A 12 by 1 inch length of Schedule 80 PVC is threaded into the valve with some Teflon tape for an airtight seal. The valve only operates with one direction of flow, so this pipe, which will be the pressure tank, threads into the input side. The open end of the pipe is closed off with a threaded end cap which first has a hole drilled to thread in an air tank fill valve. Once done, the cap is threaded on with a little more Teflon tape. The output end of the valve now receives a 4 inch length of Schedule 80 with a threaded elbow on the far end of that. All the working pieces are now in place and this assembly could use a stand. Two conduit straps and some blocks of wood will do well to make sure it stays upright. All that's left is to add a cone to hold the debris for the explosions. A funnel is used for this once a bit of the excess length has been trimmed off. To hold it to the elbow at the end of the launcher, the end of the cone is sanded to give a rough surface for glue to have a firm grip on. With a generous amount of hot glue on the opening of the elbow and on the cone itself, it can be pushed into place and let cool. Now when the air tank is pressurized to around 60 psi, anything that is loaded into the funnel will be thrown out as a simulated explosion when the ball valve release is opened. It's quite safe when loaded with cornstarch, though it can be messy on a windy day. A special modification that I've made allows this device to launch real fireballs. This is real fire and it should not be tried at home. By providing a point of ignition at the center of the cone, when the valve is triggered and the fine powder flies into the air, a chain reaction happens where each particle ignites several others from the bottom up in the dust cloud. Though the powder is not very flammable when it sits in a pile on the ground, being suspended in the air allows enough oxygen to mix in for even cornstarch or flour to make a fireball. Some of you might remember the Turkish Airlines Kobe Bryant vs. Leo Messi video that went viral about this time last year. Turkish Airlines has contacted me to help them promote their latest video, which has just gone live today, 
a sequel to their last one. Kobe and Messi are still doing their best to one-up each other, and if it's anything like their last video, it should prove to be pretty entertaining. You can view the video by clicking the annotation on screen or the link in the video description. If you never saw their first video, it's definitely worth your time to look up after you've seen their new one through the link below. If you enjoyed this project, be sure to leave me some feedback in the comments below, and check out my YouTube channel for more. I can also be found on Facebook as Nighthawk in Light. Thanks for watching.